Sports Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up. What's up, how you doing? It's Sleepy Savage Likes Media. I know it's been a minute. Apologies to everybody, but like, um, been going through some stuff. Uh, my voice is actually just coming back, starting to sound uh, like almost like normal. Cause like, uh, I'm so full of like, whatever it is, it's a lot of mucus. So when I do talk, tends to sound pretty horrible. But anyway, we are feeling better. We're back on a veggie diet. I've thinned out a lot. So right now it's about just eating and trying to get back healthy, get back on the bike and get into shape. So, uh, and if you would, you know, anybody, prayers, whatever, I'm taking everything right now so I can get myself back uh, in the flow of things. Well, what are we doing to, right now? So right now, uh, let's let's have a little look at this video where I went to Eritrea, the Eritrean Embassy in uh, Central London, as an angel. I mean, it's angel in Central London, and uh, just unfortunately, you know, it's an embassy you can't film inside. But we went there, we uh, went through the process, did a couple, did an interview, and uh, now I'm just waiting to hear back. So yeah, so we just came from the Eritrea Embassy. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, interview was quick, short. Had a few questions. Why I want to go to Eritrea? I was uh, like the main reason is uh, since I found out about Benjamin Gourmet and the the talent the cyc cyclists that have come from this. So yeah, Tatmala Tat Tat He was the first one that actually uh, brought our attention to Eritrea because uh, he got the polka dot jersey more than a few years ago. And then we see got riders like Hanuk Malubadhan and now Bini and Gourmet and uh, Bini, 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 Bini to the world. So right now we're working on trying to get to Asbidaras to see the, uh, the cycling that they do on Sundays. I, I heard they close off the whole, sit the, like the main part of the city and there's lots and lots and lots of uh, races. So that's our goal right now. Get to Asbidaras, get to Eritrea, see the talent that's coming through, talk to some of the younger cyclists and if we can talk to some of the superstars that may be there at the time of the show. Recently, we had the uh, GP Montreal, which, which Charlie Pogaccio won again. And he won a solo breakaway, 23 kilometers. He just attacked on the last climb and he just annihilated everybody. And we got world championships coming up this weekend. And everyone is saying that the course is for Tadej Pogaccio. And it's his race to lose. Everyone's got to, to beat him. Walt Renard is out. Uh, he's obviously a big favorite. And so you got Matthew Van Der Poel, who's the defending world champion. And um, it's a bit climby, climby, climby for him. So we'll see how he gets along. And there's a few other contenders in the world. The Slovenian team have um, uh, an amazing team because you have Tadej uh, <coughs> and Primoz Roglic on the same team. So, you know, I think Tadej is probably the stronger, but in the uh, Volta, some of Roglic numbers were, the numbers were right up there with Tadej's numbers, like with the, with the watts, you know, the, the power, the power numbers are right up there with Tadej, so should be an interesting battle. Cycle course season is about to kick off, so hopefully uh, things are going, uh, you know, better and I can get myself to a, a few races, if not most of the races for cycle course season, and then getting myself ready for next season to be in Europe for the entire Belgium Classic season like I did last year. That was pretty amazing. So we're going to try to do it a little bit better and uh, we're going to try to have some more merch. Not so much for sale, just to just get some merch and give it away. And um, as, as it becomes available, I will let people know. And um, what else? Um, I think that's about it. So right now I'm in a new space um, helping a friend out. Uh, with his uh, bike project. Basically, they fix bikes for refugees. So we get bikes in, or he gets bikes in, and then I fix them up, which is it's pretty much what I like to do. I like to tinker, and you don't need to be you no know, high tech disc brake and all that type of stuff. Just make the bikes work, make them safe, make them functional, and uh, folks are happy, and they can be happy. And, uh, you know, they in, in, living in a new city or in a new place, in a new home, and they can get around and they can sort of function a little bit better. So that's that's what we that's where we are right now. So I think that's about it. That's the update for now. I'm gonna try and start to be a bit more regular and just bring you uh, what's going on. I just wanna say, if you have it, the like button, 
Thank you. If you have subscribed, thank you. Ready? Till next time. What's up? So we are on our way to the uh, Eritrean Embassy in uh, London. We made it into Central London. We're at London Bridge. Now we're about to get on the Northern Line and then uh, Northern Line to Angel. And a uh, quick walk to the Eritrean Embassy. To the Eritrean Embassy. Uh, gotta wait a little bit. And I'm just gonna go inside and see what happens when we get inside. So yeah, so we just came from the Eritrea Embassy. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, interview was quick, short, had a few questions why I want to go to Eritrea. I was uh, like the main reason is uh, since I found out about Biniam Gourmet and the, the talent, the cyc cyclists that have come from there. So we had Tatmala Hamanat, he was the first one that actually uh, brought our attention to Eritrea because uh, he got the Polka Dot jersey more than a few years ago. And then with he got riders like Hanuk Malubadhan and now Biniam Gourmet and uh, Bini, 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 Bini to the world. So that's what we're doing right now. We're working on trying to get to Asbidaras to see the, uh, the cycling that they do on Sundays. I, I heard they close off the whole, sit the, like the main part of the city and there's lots and lots and lots of uh, races. So that's our goal right now. Get to Asbidaras, get to Eritrea, see the talent that's coming through, talk to some of the younger cyclists. And if we can talk to some of the superstars that may be there at the time as well. Uh, we'll be back in Belgium hopefully in a few months to uh, resume what we did last year and catch some other fantastic cycling that's been happening in Europe and see some of uh, the super African talent that's coming out of uh, Eritrea, Uganda, Kenya, and a different place. Anyway, that's it in this video. Stay with the next video. Remember, if you like buttons, subscribe to the channel, and thank you. And all my people from Eritrea, thank you for suggesting to me to uh, go ahead and and um, check it out to see how I can get there. So let's see what happens. I'm, I'm excited and I'm just waiting for the next, next steps to see what happens. Like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.